Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Last Project channel. Yes, so we're back on the work today, on the beast. <laughs> okay, let me turn the camera around. So we got the brake fluid cup already installed with our new support and worked perfectly. Although I put the line a bit lower, it was too full as well. So now let's go to the air compressor and then start fitting up all the supports for for the steering and uh, we got a bit of radiator water we got to make sure all the sensors of the brake okay oil and the clutch oil is working um, the front end and rear brakes is uh, so, so for that this uh, screen uh, fluid washer recipients also isn't Look how old school this is, guys. Instead of being like a plastic uh, recipient, like you know, this or the like the water coolant, <laughs> it's just a bag. <laughs> so, this must be a PVC bag. Uh, looks very like uh, old school, hey? See that a lot in old cars. So, the problem is that uh, it ripped already the aluminium rings that were here. So what I'm going to do is um, the best thing would to go to the machine and just weld it, you know, weld some proper uh, like rings, you know, PVC rings I could make and just weld them direct. But uh, because it's out of shape and everything else, um, I'm going to use these hot plastic, okay, reinforcements which will go like that okay and then uh, you put the other one on the other side and just tighten them up okay and like that it will just give us extra support so that this uh, this hook will start wearing this off and not the PVC bag because it's almost there although I'm, I can say that the material they used to use in those days um, even for these rubber hoses, uh, I still don't know what material this is made of, but it's fantastically like. It's like I said, brake fluid with most um, with plastics and stuff is works well, but even this plastic PVC will normally, if you buy PVC nowadays, after what 30 years, it's not going to be flexible like this. <laughs> so they did used to make proper materials. I know that nowadays they have to, you have to remove a lot of com uh, chemicals and certain components on the plastic for safety reasons and this and that. But it's a car use thing, you know, so they used to make proper plastic at those times. So let's get to it. Okay, so that's in place. Looks pretty nice because it's also blue. So quite lucky to find this color and everything. See, now it's reinforced on the back and in the front. Now we just hook it on and just wait so that it lasts another 30 years. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, so we got that in place. Uh, we got our bottom screws. Okay, these are going through the under floor. And now we got the other ones that come in the other way, you see. So it's much easier if you just make a plating, you know. Um, like that, this plate can always stay in place, okay, and um, you can remove the compressor whenever you want to, see, and we still have spacing here, okay, there's still a gap over here, all around, there's a gap over here as well, okay, um, and this is why I don't film while I'm doing the stuff, guys, because first, my hands are dirty, and I always have to pick up the phone and dirty the whole phone <laughs> and um, that's one of the mo ma main reasons you know is that with dirty hands it's hard to pick up a camera so I just got to roll with this for now and uh, then um, like having to just place all the angles you know while I'm doing it it's very hard so but that's why I just uh, try to explain everything I know it might become like a bit too long the videos, maybe boring for some. Just guys just tell me what you prefer and I'll just keep on doing it. <laughs> it's all for you guys anyway, so um 
continue now we've got to put the nuts safety nuts on the top and the bottom and we good to go and the washers yes i'll put some washers on here although this already has um a safety rivets here so that it doesn't damage the rubber but i'll still put a, a wash on there and at the bottom i'll put a wider washer so that it also insulates you know from dirt and water coming to the inside um, and then we got a bit of grounding which i will be getting a, a better ground okay from somewhere here I'll just manage to get a better grounding yes I'll bring the ground together with this wire okay grounding is very important because you can't just put it anywhere because of the paint you know then with time we'll have problems okie dokie let's continue okay so we got all this in place uh, we have our ground wire all installed already i put an extra one as well uh, just in case and uh, just put some zip ties here now and that's done okay so that's easy uh, then i was looking here and i was like well, i'm not getting like rusts you know shouldn't be getting rust here but then i found out that these screws are so steel so they're getting rust due to the elements especially that it's a front of the car you know so um got these stainless steel ones that i found in in on in stock my old stock so they actually like stay hidden inside you know they don't stay outside like that one there you see so yeah so i'm gonna go for those ones i'm gonna change those two and i'm gonna change these two right here so the paint still hasn't arrived so that I can start working on the grill. Also need, already ordered a, a new panel for hair frame because this one's gotten cracked up, you know, uh, this lighting, see if I can get better lighting here. I mean, it's a bit dark, the camera doesn't focus so well, let me fix this up. Okay, so as you can see, got all cracked up the frame. See, so it's actually getting quite loose, you see, all the way there. So that's not good. Now I ordered one of these because this one is plastic. So that was original. It's plastic, you see. Now this one here is already fiberglass. Because this one I already had changed at the time, which I actually forgot that I had put in a fiberglass one there. So I already ordered a fiberglass one so that we can also um, change it. Okay, uh, then I've got to paint this. I have to paint the new front grill and I've got to paint this one. So that will be for another project. Okay, uh, after we do all the testing on all this that we just done then we'll move to getting as soon as we receive this and the paints we'll reach out touch everywhere where we need to retouch on paint wise and we're going to um paint the these parts here so that all the three will stay the same so they that will be pretty cool to get that done and now let's go to the final step okay so all the screws are in place looks much much better more discreet and now this air tube right here because i don't want to go underneath the oil i'm just going to hook it up like that so this had a straight one and because i have a lot of stock of pneumatic accessories because i use it in the machines i'm just going to put a A knee okay we call it here a knee or an L shape okay um, just put it there like that the tube can come all around and voila good to go okay so that's all done 
should say cool, all nice and neat. And uh, to get to that screw down there, what the one, the see, we got one, two, three, and the four was beneath the compressor. So, all I had to do was just cut a key because I got plenty of keys. And uh, now I'm going to keep this in the toolbox of the Jeep or tool bag in this case. <laughs> And uh, it's easy to just uh, untighten that screw right there. Okay, dokie. So we got our screws. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, so that we can put them right over there. The lighting, the lighting, Fabio. <laughs> okay. So now we can already install this support in place and. Uh, with the reinforcements underneath and then let's just um, mount the fan the extra fan because we have an extra fan to keep things even cooler and mount the whole wind tunnel which is very important air filter boot water radiator make sure there ain't any bubbles on that also check the if there's any air bubbles in the brake system and um, test it out Maybe we'll be doing party today, <laughs> celebrating. And here, we've got all the reinforcements in place. So, it's all ready to assemble. Okay, so all is mounted, assembled. Okay, we've got the wind tunnel in place. We've got all the supports tightened up, everything. Okay. Just changing this uh, red tubing for for this black tubing, which I think will stay much better. The black tube than that red one, which is quite ugly. As you can see, it really made a big difference from here to there, so it will all be more discreet. See, so that's what I'm doing. We really got it attached in here as well. The red one was too, it's too alive, the color. <laughs> Doesn't stay well in here. Okay, just got to tighten a little bit more. Okay, so that its steering gets a little bit harder. Just needs to be a little bit harder. You can see black tubing is there for the windscreen. Wiper, it's very good. Okay, doing the final testings. See how it goes. Steering wheel is harder, man.
pumpies. There's plenty more fish on the wheel. Okay? Yeah. When it's light, you don't feel that, eh? Yeah. yeah. But then it gets too light, and you yeah. have too much. Uh, it's too light to go to my spleen. Too much neutral gap yeah. in the middle. That's, that's yeah. It was too much before. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. doing. It wasn't doing anything. So it's just becoming yeah. worse. It was worth the. Okay everyone, so uh, got a surprise here, finally came up, <laughs> we suspected they would but because last year we didn't get any, um, we finally got one, there's a male, okay, beetle, um, so what I'm doing now, I'm going to put like um, a wooden pallets here so that they can have shelter, they can, you know, just have a chance of uh, surviving. Okay, so let me turn the camera. Okay, so we got here yeah, a wooden pallet, which was quite sort of heavy because it's it's raining today. So these beetles always come during rain, unfortunately. <laughs> so here we go. A male, a small one. Okay, it's quite small. You can see. This is a small male. Normally they double the size. So I guess this one, I don't know where he came from, but if he's small, he wasn't born like long, long time ago, you know? So now we will make this little shelter over here with this wooden pallet right here. I'm going to get some logs, those logs that were on that other side, if you guys remember, and also put them here. Okay, so let's get you some shelter so that you can call your buddies. <laughs> Do a little video as well. So, these are very beautiful. The beetles are quite extraordinary. They just, um, they look like, I don't know, dinosaurs in their own world, you know. <laughs> they are quite big for their little world. Amazing. How blessed to see these little guys, huh? If we just try and preserve what's around us, you know, you get to see all these beautiful creatures, you know. If we don't, then they just tend to disappear or go somewhere else. So they don't actually, <laughs> he's actually quite feisty, this one. <laughs> you see? They just uh, open and close. It doesn't have a lot of strength, actually. Quite cool. So let's see if he wants to come on the hand. If he doesn't, then I won't make him. Okay. Just let them do their own thing. There you go. Okay. How cool is that, guys? Beautiful. Whoa. Quite amazing. What a beauty. What's a beauty? So let's get him some uh, uh, the giant hornets, yes. They're quite um, noisy, the giant hornets. They don't bug us if we don't bug them. So we're gonna get this guy a shelter. Okay. Um, and then he can just have a chance. Okay, so let's get this shelter down. So that's why he, he came out here next to the plum trees. Um, they enjoy the plums a lot, so. Okay, so. Got um, this whole, I'm gonna put some more wood to disguise it a bit more. We actually did find a, Shame, she was behind this pallet here, uh, a female, rhinoceros. So this is where the female rhinoceros beetle was, shame. She was right there 
trunch cuddling up there. Maybe she even wants to put her babies. So she saw this wood piece of uh, big pellets, uh, wood pellets, and she thought it would be a great place to do a thing, but no chance. So she saw a lie, but we got to put her in that in that little uh, hut there, show. Because you see, this is the point when they fly out at the wrong time. Then they get stranded, you know, so I don't know if there's any occupants here Let's check out There weren't any occupants Let me see if there's any new ones here uh, No And no, okay So we're gonna put her here She's quite weak and up shape But she's still good so we're just going to leave her in here so that she can just feel safe, Shane. Okay, so we're just going to leave her there and then we'll check on her later. So that's the cool thing about having these shelters, see? Uh, you can look after these little dudes. Okie dokie. So we got our little shelter. She's actually a big shelter. <laughs> Um, so he's hiding underneath there um, And now they got their shelter so like their predators can't see them walking around because I know they like wood and Then no one's going to touch this area We don't need to because the grass won't grow beneath it. So this area will just stay for the for the beetles um, I know these beetles they like plums a lot because I always saw them eating the plums here and when the plums fall on the floor, that's when normally they come because it's got like this fermented smell. And I think that attracts them a lot. Uh, the other rhinoceros female beetle. Um, she's still over here. And then we'll come check her at night because that's when they come out is at night. So she's already gotten a bit more tucking up. Yeah, she's moving a bit there. Yep. He's starting to move a bit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so she's feeling more cozy. So I put a smaller wood so that no one trips on the bigger one by mistake. That's a shelter for one. We got another big shelter there. I could also put it there, but because this one went well the last time, I'll just keep the small one as well. Okay, everyone. So I hope you all enjoyed. That's video. I already started filming the next one because that's what I have to do, you know. Uh, as soon as I'm finishing one content from one video, I already start the next one, you know. Like that, um, then on my free time, I can just edit and this and that. <laughs> it's not easy, but I have to keep organized, or else then I just lose track of time and sometimes um, then I can't upload when I want to, you know. But uh, all is going fantastic and uh, I'm going to keep on pushing on uh, got plenty of time in front of me to rise up so you guys can click that like button click the subscribe button as well um, that all helps and um, otherwise I'm still always super motivated and I'm going to keep on doing this guys keep on making cool content for you guys it's all for you so um, Everything I form, everything I do, is just to make you guys happy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave these beetles do their thing. And uh, the Saxo, Citroen Saxo, we're going to have an update on that. I had to finish the Jeep, so I couldn't be in two places at the same time. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to film the process of the Citroen Saxo. But it's just a quite a simple uh, update. I wore the logos, for sure, they're still drying. But the oil radiator, that's probably I'm just going to skip and show you guys how it's stayed, you know, at the end. I wanted to have the two fans and the oil radiator, but unfortunately the oil radiator doesn't fit with the two fans in place. So uh, I had to take one fan out and um, i got to test the system. i got to make sure that I can still install the second fan before I start filming it. 
or else I'm just going to film the video and in the end it's going to be like a disaster it didn't work you know <laughs> so I know that is normal some things aren't going to work like you guys seen I like to test things uh, with you guys on the videos um, but it would be very boring to go through that process and then in the end like you know so I just have to like do some calculations take some measurements and see what can I do then I'm taking the video and show you guys all that content so I think you guys will enjoy it that's why you guys got to stay tuned okay to the channel and um, see you on the next one out oh I forgot um, review of the Honda Civic or the Ford Raptor coming up next as well um, also with some other cool content like I normally do mix things all together you know to bake the perfect recipe <laughs> for Jesus. but anyways you know just to keep things um, you know spicy <laughs> okay guys so don't forget see you on the next one this time is for real out <laughs>